strange thing that made me is um, even some of the bodybuilders who are actually you know very healthy but still some of the people got affected and got died yes uh, yes so yeah. how that to uh, actually, understand yeah that is an extremely keen and a wonderful observation and that is an excellent question okay the, if you look at the the first wave you know if you look at italy and there are so many football players and at, in in their 20s and who are very fit and extremely healthy and who have never gotten sick in in the, ever in their lives they died they died with covid and you know as you point out most of the, some of the bodybuilders and who are you know, you know who are the, the these paragons of health that that uh, that we see and they they died and boxers in the us can, uh, go, you know with with extreme fitness levels they died they contracted covid and they died the problem is you know it is yeah we may think if you ask almost 100% 90% of the people will respond that their diet is excellent their diet is proper okay according to what definition by what standard because there are in the modern times in the, in the in this information age there is humongous amount of information that is available but what is lacking is the the, the knowledge or the 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 wisdom to interpret that information okay so we may think you know by, by searching google okay you have to follow this 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 diet and this diet and if you ask one question there will be thousand answers being provided by so, so many people you know the internet is not foolproof internet is not you know everything that you find on the internet you know is not accurate okay because most of these uh, are uh, most of the information that is coming from the internet and when google searches is coming from people like you and me people like uh, you know ordinary people uh, the people are putting that information there okay so yes that is you know we may think that we are eating healthy and we we may think that we are you know we are not having any other problems okay but what we are forgetting is the toxic load that we are getting from the agricultural uh, chemicals that are being used in the modern day is is humongous is humongous and in the previous agrarian you know when when our when india used to be an agrarian society okay the food that was consumed in a village or or or, or in a in a town is used to come from within 25 or 30 uh, kilometers of uh, uh, of uh, where you live but now that is not the case okay the foods we are consuming are, are probably traveling even thousands of miles and thousands of kilometers to come to us and we do not know what agricultural uh, chemicals that are that are used in the in in, uh, in raising those uh, those those crops okay and one of the most uh, dangerous and deadly a uh, chemical that we uh, that we need to be mindful of is is glyphosate is a herbicide okay and uh, the herbicide use in in the, in the world has gone up uh, exponentially in the past 40 50 years okay the glyphosate that is roundup well, that that's what we call here in the us and the roundup is used on every crop okay and uh, in even in india the uh, the herbicides are used these herbicides are extremely potent killers of minerals okay and they will not make most of the nutrition that we are uh, we eat they will not make it available to, for our body to be used okay and also glyphosate can cause metabolic dysfunction glyphosate can cause you know the the, the mineral deficiencies and it can cause nutrient deficiencies okay and by you know uh, 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 as a consequence people suffer from immune def- immunodeficiency okay so what we are putting in our mouths and and also people are avoiding because of the cholesterol people are avoiding eggs and people are avoiding the yolks egg yolks egg yolks if they are properly you know, if if we get them from a properly raised uh, hens they contain the highest amount of nutrition there is okay and we are avoiding for the fear of cholesterol and we are avoiding ghee the butter for the fear of cholesterol i think all these practices prakash has you know uh, made us vulnerable uh to uh, to to all these modern uh, diseases that is not a, and and also they they have made us uh, nutrient uh, nutrient deficient yeah we may look healthy we may feel healthy but the covid came and exposed the fault lines that are in our health and that is the truth and we are experiencing it and covid came and exposed all the shortcomings of this modern day living so you mean to say the appearance outside what we are 
the inside the immune system what it is definitely there will be a gap it no, doesn't mean there is a gap there is a gap because we know very well now and this one year one year's worth of this pandemic or a year and a half's worth of this pandemic has taught us any lessons if we learn this lesson okay we would have done well i think that will be the foundation for for us to move forward and 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 uh, and face this uh, and overcome and that will that will give us um, uh, the tools to overcome that realization will give us the tools to overcome this pandemic